This facility arose out of a big problem in the country, which is that growing companies need non-bank financing. Bank financing usually comes with expectation of 100% collateral and is very expensive. Moreover, bank financing is short tenor financing. A lot of growing companies need long-term patient capital that will help them figure out the business model, help them grow, scale. This is how we will be working with um, FSD and CMA uh, to make sure that all members of the East African Venture Capital Association are responsible uh, to the investees that they take and also uh, to share information in, in regards to how market operates uh, macro and economic, uh, macroeconomic and macroeconomic uh, studies. It's actually related to, to the SDGs, to the SDGs, to the Agenda 2030, and to be able to, to, yeah, to, to, to manage to mobilize an amount of capital that some sources they mention that is like 3.9 trillion dollars in the next, uh, in the next now nine years, in 2021. So um, to mobilize that amount of money is not enough only to mobilize development kind of funds, but it's also needed to mobilize the private sector. So we really see this as a strong complement to the deal flow facility. We'll just, we might even just pass on the entire program to the deal flow facility, but we should initially we should work closely. Um, because ultimately our interest is seeing deals closed. You know, Rashmi just mentioned 40 deals, that's eight deals per year. That's not an easy fit because in order to close eight deals and Richard could tell us, you might have to look at about 100 companies, maybe 50 companies, and take them through a filter before you can eventually sign the term sheet and, and, and the financing agreement. So it's going to be a lot of work to, be, to do, but